it's purely coincidental that my way is also the right way. Oh, okay. <laughs> See if I can reverse with a toad. Anybody that tows some sort of vehicle behind the motor home knows the pain that you can't or you're not supposed to or a combination of back up with the tow attached. Mm -hmm. So we bought this. This is the Roadmaster Exact Center and notice the key word, we bought <laughs> this, <laughs> not, not given. Yep. This is supposed to allow you to back up with, for our case, yeah. in our example, the Jeep being hooked to the motorhome, we should be able to reverse. Yeah. Now they say it's limited, like straight line type backing up, which is beneficial. Yes, that's better than nothing. Right. So we're going to install this. It's not going to be like an install video, but it's going to be about this exact center part, I guess you could say. Right. Now my initial, my initial impression taking this out of the box is shipped to our door. It was like $510. And that is absurd. That is an absurd amount of money for this. Yeah. But if it's proprietary, they charge whatever they want. <laughs> but you know, we'll try it out and who knows after it's installed, I may say hey, it's worth a thousand dollars. Right. <laughs> I don't know. But right now looking at it, I mean, here's the e-trailer. That's where we got it from. Yeah. $510. Oof. Yes. That is steep for this. This is the box of stuff you get. Here's the instructions, how to install it. Some nuts and bolts and washers and you get two brackets. So this seems pretty straightforward. Seems like it shouldn't be all that hard to install. And you got a registration card. Okay. Which this is, is what we do with those. <laughs> when I pulled the Jeep in here, I made sure that I got a nice long run at it and I kept the wheel straight. I even took my hands off the wheel. Right. I let the Jeep just kind of track itself in here. I want the wheels as straight as possible. Because if your wheels are off one way or another, then we install this. When you drive down the road, it's going to pull yeah. one way or the other. Now, there is an adjustment for that after the fact. So after we install this, we will have to do a test drive to make sure it still tracks nice straight. and straight. Got this mostly installed at this point see it up here one thing to note down on this end which is the passenger side you will have to drill a hole right there through that bracket so you will need a 7 16 inch drill bit oh we got that hole drilled but look at this i could not get a straight shot here to drill that hole without pulling the passenger side tire off and I dropped the uh, tie rod and the drag link down out of the way. That way I can get to uh, that hole. Well, we need the tires rotated anyway, so I might as well do that while I'm here. Again, yeah, we're on the passenger side. It actually helps a lot to have this tire removed because I would not be able to get this nut and washer on there if the tire was here. It's done. It's installed. It's supposed to keep your steer tires straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the wheels to see if it straightens it out. Quick and dirty test before we take it out. Yeah, I want to see if it really does what it claims to do. They are straightening. <laughs> Look at that. They did straighten. <laughs> yes, they did. How's it doing? Pulls to the left, so we'll have to make an adjustment to it. Okay. Passenger. Yeah. Let's see how it does turning to the right.
pulls to the left. Yep. All right. I mean, well. the wheel looks pretty straight, but it's definitely pulling to the left. Yeah, we'll adjust it and we'll try again. After many, many adjustments. Lots of adjustments. Let's it, see what it wants to do. It might be. really tough on this road. It's just constant bumps. I think it's the best it's been so far. Oh, it's definitely the best it's been so far. I'm not jutting into one end of the plane or traffic. Or... So I think what we'll do is have you drive it for a couple days. Yeah. We'll figure out if it needs any more adjustment or not. I mean, at least on this part where it's straight and smooth it kept it pretty center there's probably more than one way to hook your jeep or your toad to your motorhome this is just how we do it right it's purely coincidental that my way is also the right way oh okay <laughs> <laughs> so we pull the jeep up behind the motorhome we keep the the hooks stored back here because jeep built in like the most perfect compartment right in there of course now the dogs think that they need to get in the back yeah. no guy nope. no we are using a roadmaster tow bar and base plate kit it's about what three years old now almost not quite almost three years old <laughs> no pipe oh she's all wound up so she's got her frisbee those just lock into place Take the pins out. Just like that. And then we got to pull the Jeep up here closer because, you know, these aren't going to reach. So generally what I do is if I'm by myself, I'll just pull up where I think it's close enough and then see if the arms will reach. But if Lynn is here, she'll get in the Jeep, move it forward, and I'll just tell her when to stop. Yep. All right, the bars are hooked up. All right, put it in neutral. neutral? Transfer case in neutral. So then we're gonna go to four over down. It's blinking neutral. All right, put it in reverse. We usually put it in reverse or drive and just give it some gas. I'd say it's in neutral. Move, so no. Okay, park and engine off. There right. we go. Now over here, the wiring kit that we have for the lights, we have a switch, let's put it in go. And we'll finish connecting everything up here. As we pull away, these arms will extend out and lock into place. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and connect the safety cables. These cables are integrated into the arms, which is why I bought the, the Roadmaster. Some people like Blue Ox better, some people like Roadmaster better. I think they're either, I mean, same, same. You're not gonna go wrong with either one. No, either one, you're fine. We've used a, this a lot. Yeah. Like a lot, a lot. This has pulled the Jeep cross country. <laughs> and back. And, and back. all over, in between. <laughs> People have asked us before, like, why don't you cross your cables? Well, because we can't, they're integrated. Yeah, they're integrated and there's really no need. Connect our lights. And then the breakaway. That's it. It's connected. We use a, a Blue Ox braking system. We don't have a system that's like permanently installed or integrated because when we bought this, I had a 2016 Jeep Wrangler and then Lynn got this Wrangler. And now I've got a 2004 Wrangler. So this can just kind of move yeah. in between vehicles. Instead of giving one in each Jeep we ever own, let's just <laughs> get one that moves between them all. And we have an extension for the 12 volt. Then? Let's just hit power, set up, let it do its thing. We're good. And that's it. Yep. That is kind of exactly how we set up and get our Jeep ready to be towed. 
lights are working on the back of the Wraith. Yep. And the lights on the back of the Jeep are working. Yep. Good to go. I'm gonna pull forward and get these arms to lock on the Jeep. They are locked. This is the part I'm worried about. Let's see if I can reverse with a toe. I'm just gonna try and keep it in a straight line. Slow. The tires seem to be staying straight. From what I can tell. So far, so good. The exact center is doing what it's supposed to do. The Jeep is kind of going in uh, off to the side a little bit. It kind of wants to just pick its own direction. It's, it's not going to back like a trailer. tires didn't even seem to turn at all. No, the Jeep did kind of go off course a little bit, but I can't see it in my mirrors. Yeah. I can't see the Jeep. I have to use the camera or else I'm blind. I don't even know it's there. Yeah, I mean, we're not perfectly straight in the race either. No, I uh, was trying to just keep the uh, the Wraith straight with the Jeep, let the Jeep do the driving. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm scared of letting those tires turn. Oh, I was terrified too. And I was like, wow, it's staying like really straight. But I was surprised. We, we started up there on the hill. Yeah. And we backed all the way down here. Even transitioned off of stones onto concrete. Right. So I would say for the the purpose of backing up with the Jeep attached, the exact center, it does what it's designed to do. Right. And I mean it stayed straight, especially if you just want to back up straight. Mm -hmm. That's it's perfect for that. So like when we've gotten caught behind trucks at the fuel stop, you know. Yeah, truck drivers, they like to complain when they when we post videos and they see that we're using the, the truck pumps. And they say, oh, you know, you, our veers are clogging up the, the fuel island. I drove for 16 years. I've had my CDL for 23 years. I have never once, not one time, been held up by an RV at the fuel pumps. But However, <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I've been held up and blocked at a pump by a truck driver. And I'm allowed to pick on truck drivers because I are one. Yeah. Well, I used to be, now I teach people how to be one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some time now what a week yeah driving with this exact center what do you think what's your opinion it definitely drives different than I'm used to now Jeeps have kind of weird steering anyways especially JL's but I was used to it so to me it was just normal but with this uh, exact center it's like heavier in the steering wheel to turn and things like that. It's, it's a really hard thing to try to explain how it drives differently. It does do pretty well just like going straight with, without my hand on the steering wheel. And it is windy. You can see that flag <laughs> is, is blowing sideways. So typically because the Jeep is so light, it wouldn't handle very well in, in a crosswind. It would just push it all over the place. But, you know, it seems to be doing better with that type stuff. But because the steering is heavier, it seems like it takes more effort to correct minor, minor turns and twists in the road. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. 
I had my share of time behind the wheel. <sighs> Drivability, if this was my my everyday driver, the exact center would be in the trash can. I can't stand it as an everyday driver. Uh, in that aspect, for everyday use, I give it an F, maybe an F minus. The install instructions, I would rate maybe a D. <laughs> I think the drivability of it sucks. I mean, you're trying to make like these just minor little corrections. You know, when you're driving straight down the road, just kind of do that. It's, it's fighting you making those corrections. I found myself turning the wheel too far. We're only talking about like that much, but too far. It's making me kind of do this in the lane. I couldn't stand it. Me personally, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't install it, but it does what they say it will do when you want to back your RV with the Jeep or whatever your vehicle is attached. It does allow you to back up in a, a fairly straight line. So in that aspect, backing up, I give it an A. Everyday driving, I give it an F. That's just my opinion. Roadmaster does make these exact centers for motorhomes, ours included. Our Super C is one of those that they do make an exact center for. Um, I would not buy that one either. I, it, to me, it would be undrivable. I would just be pissed off every time I tried to drive it. <laughs> um, some people think it's phenomenal. They think it's great. They have nothing but praise for it. So take my opinion for what it's worth. A lot of these people, though, aren't used to driving big rigs, semis, whatever you are. So they might, they're expecting something to drive like a car. That don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. I've never driven a semi truck or a commercial vehicle that had a steering stabilizer of any kind on it. I'm not a fan. Let's put it that way. We are going to take off the exact center and I'm gonna drive it for another week and see how I like it or dislike it. My opinion, if I'm taking it off, it's probably because you're not thrilled with it. Well, I know I'm not. I was so used to how it drove before that this felt weird. So I wanna see if now if I take it off, if that feels weird. See if you miss it. Yeah, exactly. We were super excited about getting this but very this this water on the floor is because the we washed the jeep yeah. there's nothing leaking yes there's <laughs> no leaks there it is there it is all right now i guess i'll see how i like it For back week? yeah I'll give it a week or a day or so to see how i think it's if different decide if it goes in the trash can or not <laughs> <laughs> either that or a quick connect or something well because if we need to back up it does work well i did consider some sort of quick connect system but that's one more thing to hook up and disconnect and i'd have to lay on the ground to do it which would suck in my opinion the easiest thing if we want to back up lynn gets out runs back to her jeep and just holds the steering wheel while i back up that would eliminate that altogether you know what pretty true but if you're by yourself right then if you're by yourself don't back up yeah don't back up or have one of those that you can back up but yeah for now we're gonna see how i like it like this it has now been one week since i've been driving with the exact center off of the jeep and my final opinion on it is as much as I like the exact center for when it's windy and things like that, overall, I do like it better without it installed. <laughs> the dogs upstairs going crazy. So you can see, it, it's still right where we, where we put it, right where we left it. Yep, there it, it has is. not moved, has not been touched. No. Next stop trash can no no i'm gonna i'm gonna put off on that we've saved dumber things for less so i don't know i'm i almost feel like i want to try it again but i feel like that's just me in my indecisive if you're flip-flopping <laughs> back and forth 
I, I know, I know. I think the verdict is in. I think it's garbage. Yeah, it's it's not what I had hoped it would be. I was very excited and now I'm very let down. And I think that's why I want it to go on and off because I'm like, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's not you, exact center. Maybe it's me. No, it's the exact center. But I'm pretty sure it's just the exact center, unfortunately. So anyways, that's that. You got my opinion, you got Lynn's opinion, and there it is on the shelf. If you have one of these installed, please let us know your opinions. Or if you've considered getting one, let us know if our review has helped you or not helped you in any way. So until next time, see ya. See ya. It finally happened to us. It says DEF low refill soon. If you look at the def gauge right here, it's almost full.